Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you four possible ways to fix the problem of flickering or flashing screen in Windows, be it Windows 7, 8 or 10. Now the level of this flickering or flashing may vary depending on what could be causing the problem in your case. In some cases, your PC specs and configurations could also play a role on how severe this problem is. For some laptops, it could be just in the form of occasional flashes or blinking every now and then. For others, it could be more severe. For this Acer Aspire V5 531, it's probably one of the worst cases of this problem. So what happens is when I try to boot it up, It first shows this logo screen with a spinning cycle, no flashes, no flickering. And that brings me to an important notice before we proceed. If your screen flickers when you touch it or shows some vertical or horizontal lines when it shakes, then it's probably some physical problems either with the flex cable which connects your screen to the motherboard or the screen itself is actually cracking mostly due to pressure. So if you're having such problem, consider changing the flex cable or screen depending on what the problem is in your case. Now back to this laptop, from this initial screen, you can already see that this is not a broken screen or some dented display. Clearly every pixel on the screen seems good. However, beyond this screen, I begin to see flickering and flashes across the screen. As I mentioned earlier, this is one of the worst cases of this problem. Here, in addition to flickering and flashing, operations like mouse movement and opening of windows are significantly slowed down due to this problem. Now yours might not be this bad, however, one or two of the suggestions in this video could help with any level of flickering or flashing you might be experiencing, including very severe ones like the case with this laptop. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the four solutions in this video correspond to four possible causes of this problem. First is the issue with display drivers. There are times when your laptop automatically downloads and installs display drivers that may not be compatible with your display adapter or your Windows distribution. In such cases, you might experience malfunctions like this when you use your Windows. There are two possible ways to verify if your flickering is coming from such incompatible display drivers. One way is to check and see if the task manager flickers when you open it up. To check that, simply open your task manager by pressing Ctrl Shift Escape key combination. If your task manager also flickers, then this is likely an issue with the display drivers. The second way which I think is more reliable would be to attach an external display to your laptop and see if the external display flickers as well. So here I will attach my laptop to an external display. And as you can see, the external display doesn't flicker at all. So it's very likely that the issue in this case is with my display drivers. To fix that, I will try to update the drivers and see if that works. So I will go to my Windows search and type Device Manager. Click on Device Manager from the search results. On the Device Manager, go down to where it says Display Adapters. Click on the arrow beside it to display the graphics drivers currently installed. Here it shows that I have Intel HD graphics driver installed. I'm going to be uninstalling this driver, but before doing that, please ensure you have an internet connection on your computer, otherwise your PC won't be able to reinstall the graphics drivers after uninstalling. That will leave your display looking blurry and not having the right aspect ratio. In addition, some apps and functionalities like the sleep feature from your power options might not be effective after uninstalling. So with internet connection on this laptop, I will go ahead and uninstall the driver. To do that, simply right click on it and select uninstall device. Here I will select delete the driver software for this device and hit uninstall. Then wait a bit for the process to complete. Now here because I don't have a graphics driver anymore, my attached monitor is no longer able to show the laptop screen. So I will switch back to my flickering laptop display for the rest of the process. Now it's difficult to see from this screen, but I can see a dialog box asking that I restart my computer to complete the process. I will hit yes, and then wait for the laptop to restart.
Now upon restarting, you can see here that the screen seems not to be flickering anymore. But let's wait until we get to the desktop. Okay, so here we go. The screen is fully back to normal. I will now go back to check the graphics driver and see what I have installed. Here as you can see, I have the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter installed. This is a generic display driver that comes with Windows before updating to the driver that your graphics card requires. For this laptop, it looks completely normal with the generic driver. However, like I mentioned earlier, some graphics related features like the sleep mode and some app features might not be functional with this basic display driver. So you will need to update to the required drivers for your graphics card. Here I will try the automatic driver update by right clicking and selecting update driver. Then on this page, select search automatically for updated driver software. This will automatically download and install your graphics drivers. If for some reason this process fails or the installed driver keeps giving the same problem, then you should visit your manufacturer support page to manually download and install your graphics drivers. If one version fails, try another version. Sometimes an older version might even work better with your system settings than the newer one, so try that out too. Now after installing the driver, it might prompt you to restart your computer to complete the process. Even if it doesn't, it's advisable to do so, otherwise some graphics features might still be inactive. Now if the initial fix hasn't worked for you, the next fix would be to try disabling Windows error reporting services. As unrelated as this may sound, there has been multiple instances where disabling the Windows error reporting service has helped to fix this screen flickering problem. To disable the error reporting service, right click on your Windows Start menu and select Run. On the Run dialog box, type in the command msconfig as shown on the screen and hit enter. Now that should open up your system configurations. Here click on Services. Again click on these services on the first column to arrange services in alphabetical order. That will make it easier for you to locate the services you want. So here I'm going to scroll down and search for Windows Error Reporting Service. Now here all checked services are enabled, so to disable a service you need to uncheck it and apply the changes. So here I will uncheck Windows Error Reporting. Then again search for Problem Reporting and Solution and uncheck that too. Afterwards, hit apply and then OK. Now restart your computer and see if the problem has been fixed. If your screen is still flickering, the next fix would be to check for incompatible applications. Generally this could be any application, but three of the most reported apps that could possibly cause this flickering problem are iCloud, Noton Antivirus and IDT Audio. If you experience this problem after installing any of these apps or some other apps to your Windows, then you should consider uninstalling such app and checking to see if that is the cause of the flickering in your case. To uninstall such apps, go to your Windows search and type Add or Remove Programs. Then click on Add or Remove Programs from the search results. You should have these apps and feature page pop up. Here you can choose to sort apps by date of install by simply clicking on this drop down arrow here and then selecting Install Date. That will help you to trace the most recent app you have installed. You can also search for an app by typing the app name to this search field. So here I will search iCloud for instance. And here we have it. To remove an app, simply click on it and then select uninstall from the displayed options. Now as you can see in the case of iCloud, the uninstall option is grayed out, hence I can't directly click on uninstall here to remove it. So here I will click on modify, then a dialog box like this should pop up asking if I want to repair or remove. Here select remove and hit next. Then hit yes, and yes again on the user account control, and then wait for the uninstallation to complete.
Now you can do the same for Norton Antivirus if you have it installed and also the IDT Audio. After uninstalling, you can try restarting your computer to see if that has resolved the flickering issue you are having. If the flickering continues, the first recommendation would be to check the refresh rate of your LCD monitor. Now refresh rate is simply the number of times your monitor updates in a second and is measured in Hertz. Now this is quite a rare situation but there are times when your refresh rate is set so low that it could be causing your screen to flicker since it's not updated as frequently as it should. To check the refresh rate of your monitor, go to your Windows search and type Change Display Settings. Click on Change Display Settings from the search results. On the Display Settings page, go down to where it says Advanced Display Settings and click on it. On the Advanced Display Settings, you can see the current refresh rate of your screen. Here I have both my laptop screen and the external monitor I attach for the troubleshooting of this problem. As you can see, I have both screens set to 59Hz refresh rates by default, which is pretty much the same as 60Hz, which is the most common refresh rate for most monitors. But if for some reason yours is flickering on 59Hz or some lower frequencies, then it could be that your graphics drivers are strictly designed for only 60Hz frequency. So to change your refresh rate, simply click on this display adapter properties for display 1. You should have a window like this pop up. Here click on the monitor tab. And under the monitor settings, you can use the drop down to select the required frequency. Then apply and hit OK. Afterwards, restart your computer and see if this has fixed the flickering problems. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.